Hi, welcome to my Creative Arts portfolio. I've completed five hours of learning and experience in three art forms. First up is my visual arts experience. I undertook four projects which I'll walk you through while showing you the techniques I have learnt to understand and present. First project was the autumn tree made from a brown paper bag. As you can see we found the instructions to this online. It took a couple of paper bags to get it right. Throughout this experience I was learning about how colour can be salient. Autumnal colours on the brown paper bag really draw your eye due to the contrast. Texture was also another vital part of this project as scrunching the paper bag gave the tree a sort of personality and rough barky look. Next up was the crumpled watercolour paper. This is another project that was a little easier but a lot more expressive in how it was made. A lot like the tree, each crumpled piece of paper came out completely unique. This activity allowed many variations and a lot of hands-on work. This activity could work in line with the standard one, as you could manipulate the colours and style to what your students might prefer. Colour, contrast and salience again played a big part in this learning experience, but in this case I found my eye to catch not the paint, but the bright white untouched areas of the crumpled paper. The crumpling of the paper also gave this piece texture, and through this I've extended my learning of texture, beginning to understand how different movements can create completely different looks. This is just the final product of the four different pieces I made. As you can see, I tried to vary the colours and use my autumnal colours again. The next technique I looked at in my learning was perspective. To investigate this, we found a perspective drawing online and followed the instructions to create our own. The main point of this perspective drawing is the vanishing point. And once I understood that, most, if not all, of the objects use this point. This drawing became understandable and a lot simpler. The salient objects in this drawing were the larger objects, such as the barn and the road. Any of these activities would be a great way to teach salience or colour or texture along with many other techniques as they are not too difficult with scaffolding but still allow students to express themselves. This is the final product. The next and last project from visual arts learning was working with clay. I decided to challenge myself and work with no instructions to make the prog that was on the box that the clay was inside of. Texture again was one of my main focus points when working on this project. Clay was a wonderful medium through to create my art, and being coloured clay added another whole aspect to it. The textures that were used within my frog were smooth with the body and legs, as is clay's kind of personality or makeup, and sharp with how, that, how I made the frog's toes. Working with such different types of artwork provided me with such a good perspective of how I could use the arts to cater for my students and allowed me to further investigate the techniques with it. Next up was drama. For five hours of learning for drama, I attended a workshop hosted by some wonderful people, one of them being our own Rachel Jacobs. The theme for the workshop was refugees and specifically teachers for refugees. Unfortunately, I didn't get many great photos during this, but behind Aaron was one of the hosts. He ran many different insightful activities, mostly surrounded by a picture book called Home and away. The first activity was a word association activity, where there had been one word written on huge pieces of paper, and each group of people had to write down words that associated with it. After the groups moved around each piece of paper, the end result was a culmination of the whole group, and seeing how everyone thought and felt differently about one single word was awesome. This activity also used symbolism, as the subject word was a symbol for everyone in the group, but in a different way. Throughout all the activities, the host was setting the mood, which was a dark and sad kind of mood because of the theme and the book chosen. The first activity we reenacted was the table scenario, where we as a group had to become the family from the book and come up with what might have been said at the dinner table that one night. This used dramatic technique of tension. Now throughout this learning experience, standard four, creating and maintaining a surf learning environment was provided, and another aspect of learning during the evening by setting up your classroom prior to drama lessons you can adhere to standard four. The second activity we enacted as a group was the freeze frame activity which involved portraying the family once again 
but as a time lapse of still photos over different events occurring. This once again reinforced the mood and the top tension of the topic. Standards 6 and 7 were in play here when, place, when taking place in this workshop and the professional learning comes into play and the community and peers become involved as well as ethics and responsibilities. I believe in any active activity and lesson, Standard 3 is one of the most important facets of teaching. Each lesson and activity that I have experienced needed to be planned and implemented for the effective teaching and learning. Music, the final frontier. I thought I had some knowledge still of music, but I was wrong. I found out that everything that I had learned from learning organ and piano, I had lost, and I had to start from scratch again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Did you notice that we got faster? Let's try and keep it together. So, ready? One. Alright, so from the beginning, you ready? Up to four. One, two, three, four. Oh, because mine's fours. So, you just, every every two and four, you just hit. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. this workshop I was learning techniques like tempo and duration, as you can see from all the videos prior to this one. I believe my background in music may have let me pick up these claps and rhythm a lot faster than if I had. In this video you can see I was playing around with understanding how to play certain notes that weren't actual musical notes but allowed us to express ourselves when we were trying to figure out how to play these different symbols and pitches. This could be a great activity for early learners such as stage one or maybe stage, maybe early stage one as it could introduce them to all these techniques that they could use in later life for music. Throughout the day I played again with musical techniques like dynamics or how loud and soft a note should be played and learnt, should, and learnt a lot more about music structure and duration through writing compositions of my own somewhat through the use of Nightfly, which was an awesome application to be given in the advanced part of the workshop, which I probably shouldn't have been in. <laughs> through all the singing, playing and writing of all these techniques, they became and have become a lot more accessible and have allowed me to be, be as a teacher, to be better fit to teach music, visual arts and drama. Thank you. <laughs>